the legend of Helena's discovery would change the course of Christian history. But could what she found have been the actual cross Jesus died on? Now, the modern-day investigation into the True Cross is gathering pace. The city of Waterford is the oldest city in Ireland. It boasts a long history of Christianity and a museum that holds an important relic of the True Cross. What's fascinating is that it is said to have been given directly by the Pope to the King of Ireland, and Rome, as we know, had access to relics from Jerusalem. Archaeologist Georges Kazan is joined by scientist Tom Hyam. He is also from Oxford University in England, and he will put the relic to the test. For the first time in history, we're able to place these uh, relics in their proper, proper time and proper date. The Waterford Cross is on loan to the medieval museum from the Roman Catholic Archdiocese. And museum curator Eamon McMeaney has secured their permission to test it. And the relic is just inside this. It's just this. inside this. Is that a modern script or an ancient script? No, it's a 12th century script. It says a piece of the wood of the true cross, and it was given to the King of Munster by the Pope in 1110. Oh, so we can add it at least back to 1110. The cross is believed to be cedar wood, and since its arrival in Ireland, it has been carved up further to share with different churches. You can see it quite plainly here in the back. Ah, ah, wow. Again, you can see a sample was taken from here. What kind of information do you have to say that this cross may have come from Jerusalem? Well, to my knowledge, cedar wood certainly wasn't available in Ireland in the 12th century. It had to come from the Middle East somewhere, the Lebanon or Israel. But could this piece of wood come from first century Jerusalem? The time has come to find out. This museum in Waterford, Ireland, claims to hold a piece of the actual cross that crucified Jesus. The true cross, a relic said to have been discovered by the Empress Helena 300 years after Christ's death. 800 years after that, the Pope would give this piece of it to the King of Ireland. When the Pope gives you a relic of the true cross, he's almost saying, you know, you're a real king, you've got that legitimacy, you've got that power. Well, I don't know, you know, I, that does look... For the first time in history, a prized relic of the true cross will be carbon dated. Professor Tom Hyam has over 20 years' experience. There's quite a lot of um, what looks like lacquer that's across the top of the, of the wood. And lacquer will have a different radiocarbon concentration, probably, to the age of the wood. But fortunately, pieces of material have been taken, and that exposes the actual wood. So that's uh, a good place for us to take the sample from. The procedure should leave little perceptible trace of damage, in theory. But it's a nerve-wracking business. Just going to take a small bit from here. Yes, Tom, the smallest possible, very, very small piece. No we only need about 10 milligrams. That's equivalent to a few grains of salt. But this relic has been venerated here for almost a thousand years. Every speck counts. It's very, very hard, this wood. Could that mean anything to do with its age? Possibly. I mean, it looks, it actually looks old, this wood. Mm. Um, it just. You know, it looks aged. So far, so good. Tom is satisfied with his sample. Now they can head back to the lab to test for the first time this piece of the true cross. At the Oxford University Radiocarbon Accelerator Lab, Archaeologist Dr. Georges Kazan and Professor Tom Hyam are about to take a step closer to solving this mystery. By carbon dating a fragment of the true cross given to the King of Ireland by the Pope in 1100 AD.
The true cross is the most important relic. So to have it tested in this way, which could reveal that the story is potentially true, um, is fascinating. This is the first time we've actually, to our knowledge, directly dated a piece of the true cross. Radiocarbon is a complex method and involving a series of stages. The first of which is to pre-clean and pre-treat the sample to remove any contaminating carbon that could alter the result. And the final stage of the process is the particle accelerator, which enables us to measure individual particles of carbon-14. The more radiocarbon there is, the more recent the sample and the less radiocarbon, the older it is. We can date anything from the present day back to about 50,000 years ago. In less than 20 minutes, they may solve an enigma that dates back 2,000 years. This should just about have been finished now. Let's just have a look and see what we can see. Could the Waterford Cross be part of the cross Helena is said to have discovered? Let's just have a look and see what the result is. We can see that here. This relic of the true cross dates from 1100 AD. That's oh. not the age of the true cross. OK, maybe around 1100. It's not the date they were hoping for. 